Welcome back. Today, I will show you a action thriller film from 2017 titled John Wick, Chapter 2, Spoilers Ahead. Watch out and take care. John Wick recovers his stolen Ford Mustang Mach 1 from Abram Tarasov, brother of the late Vigo. John dispatches Tarasov's men in a violent rampage that heavily damages the Mustang, but spares Tarasov under the promise of peace and returns home. John is visited by the Camoir crime boss Santino D'Antonio, who reminds him that he was the one who helped John complete his impossible task, which allowed John to retire and marry Helen. In return, John swore to a marker, an unbreakable vow symbolized by a blood oath medallion. Santino presents the marker to demand services from John who declines. Santino retaliates by destroying John's house with a grenade launcher. John survives and travels to the Continental Hotel in New York City, where Winston reminds John that if he rejects the marker, he will be violating one of the two unbreakable rules of the underworld, no killing on Continental grounds, and honoring every marker. John reluctantly accepts his commitment and meets with Santino, who tasks him with assassinating his sister Gina, so he can claim her seat at the high table, a council of twelve high-level crime bosses. Santino sends Ares, his mute bodyguard, to observe John's mission. In Rome, Italy, John infiltrates Gina's coronation and confronts her in a dressing room. Faced with certain death, Gina chooses to take her own life by slitting her wrists. As Gina dies, John shoots her in the head to fulfill the marker. As John leaves, Gina's bodyguard, Cashin, recognizes John and upon realizing that he was sent to kill Gina, attacks him. John flees to the catacombs, where he is double-crossed by Ares and Santino's henchmen, who intend to tie up loose ends by killing him. After killing most of the henchmen, John is again pursued by Cashin. Their fight leads them into the reception area of the Rome Continental Hotel, which, like the New York Continental, prohibits conducting any business on its grounds. As the two share a drink, John explains his reason for killing Gina. Nevertheless, Cashin promises to kill John quickly as a sign of professional respect. As John returns to New York City, Santino opens a contract for $7 million to kill John under the guise of avenging his sister, leading numerous assassins to unsuccessfully attack John. Cashin confronts John in the subway and after a vicious fight, is left with a knife stuck in his aorta, leaving his fate uncertain. The badly injured John seeks help from an underground crime boss known as the Bowery King, whose subordinates treat John's injuries. Intrigued by John's intent to kill a member of the high table, the Bowery King sportingly gives him a gun with only seven bullets, one for each million of the contract, and directs John to an art museum where Santino holds a gala. John pursues Santino throughout the museum, killing his remaining henchman Ares, but Santino manages to escape to the Continental, where he intends to remain indefinitely in its sanctuary. Despite Winston's warnings, the exasperated John shoots and kills Santino in the Continental Lounge. The next day, Winston meets with John and explains that, per the high table, the contract on John has been doubled and offered globally. As a further consequence of killing Santino on Continental grounds, Winston declares John excommunicado, terminating all his access and privileges to underworld resources. However, Winston delays announcing John's excommunication by one hour to give him a head start and provides him with a marker for future use. Before leaving, John advises Winston to tell every other assassin for the high table that when they try to hunt him, they will all be killed. John departs with his dog as Winston makes a call enacting John's excommunicado to be activated in one hour. As the contract is activated and cellular phones begin to ring all around him, John begins to run, and the movie ends. 